do guys in here and then finally doing my three year anniversary token opening I don't even know what tunes are in the wheel I haven't checked yet I thought I'd do that with you guys while I'm recording but already this event is way better than the last one I forgot what the last event was called they had those purple tokens and the, like the good thing about this event is we're getting pulls like early on because like the purple token I got a pull at the very end like the last week of the event is when I finally got a pull like at least now we're getting we get like it's what three weeks into the event maybe and I've, and I've got I'm getting my first pull I think it's a 60 week event right so not even three weeks it's like two two weeks maybe I don't know I think it's a 60 week event maybe it's a little bit longer I don't know two or three weeks into the event finally getting a pull and it's a lot better than that purple tokens one I think with this event, it feels like you're progressing all the time. Like, you're always getting candles, you're always getting cakes and all that stuff in every event, in every tourney. So, like, it feels like you're always progressing. There's roadmaps and whatnot. You can also buy your way if you really want to. But it always feels like you're progressing is what I like about it. So, whatever, let's get looking at these tunes here. So, you have Romanov, whatever, Tyrese. What Tyrese is this? It's like, I think there's at least, like, four acceptable ty Tyrese's in, like, None of them, uh, one of them is like an, a legacy tune, the tough one. Ezekiel, I don't need him at all. Aris or Eris, she's in the five star token wheel. I feel like I'm gonna end up pulling her in the five star token wheel, so I really don't need want her from this wheel. Like, I want a tune that like you can't get in any other wheel. Dante was, I feel like he was one of the level up crate reward things, like, he was one of the rewards and like those like chance crate things. Was he? I feel like he was available some way. In some event or something. I don't know. I don't remember though. Cal? Is he the... I think he's the... He's like a legacy tune, right? I think. I think he is. There's Corey the Shield. We know about him already. I wouldn't mind getting him. He'd be super useful. Alpha? Um... Decapitate. Yeah, not not horrible, but she's not doing enough damage. If she was doing at least like five hundred percent damage, she may be useful, but like three hundred twenty five isn't enough damage. I don't know. Maybe I don't know her. Her attack is probably high, or it is high. It's almost two thousand. Maybe with a couple of good mods on her, she could wipe out a whole team. But I don't know. Seventy six AP is kind of rough. Andrea, well, kind of whatever. I think Richard is in, is he in the elite tokens or is he in the five star wheel? Or is, maybe he's not in any of them. I don't know. Could be. What did? Oh, maybe I saw him in the other wheel, the survival tokens wheel. Maybe that's what, why I think he's in one of the wheels. Governor Erica would be awesome. Super useful. Um, who's this Barker? Hell, I don't even remember seeing this Barker before. 500% damage to one enemy up to three enemies get minus 25 AP. Not bad. Garrett, I don't think this Garrett's that good, is he? All tough and fast enemies get 40 HP and 40 T. Actually, it could be useful. I do have a solid yellow team now. Before I had like one yellow tune and it was like that Maggie, but now I've got a bunch of yellow tunes. Because I pulled that, what's that? Oh, damn, what's her name again? I pulled her in the, la the purple token event. The, what, damn, I forgot what her name is, but she gives like 50. She gets a like bonus HP, I think, and like focused to three teammates for two turns. And she's a retribution too. I forgot her name is though, damn. Michonne, Michonne's not bad. Disarming. Magna Shield could be very useful. Connor, which Connor is this? Eh, to one enemy, three enemies get minus 60 attack and minus, eh. Not bad, I don't know, I don't think it'd be super useful. Anna, who's this? Berserker, 550% damage to one enemy, 66 AP is not bad, taunt three enemies for one turn, this character gains bonus 20 crack, okay that could be useful, she's a damage tune though, so like her defense isn't super good, but at the same time it could add mods to her, it could make her useful, and then Romanov again, it's a guaranteed 6 star? For guaranteed ascendable epic or legendary recruit. Oh, okay. The five stars just aren't showing up in the wheel. Damn, I got pretty hyped there for a second. Damn. 20% for a six star. I think that's 
better odds than the last event. I'm not 100% sure, though. I think like the last event was something like 17.5% chance. I don't know. I should do this poll. Anyone but Ezekiel, would, I'd be pretty okay with. And then, like, maybe Aris, you don't really need her. She's in the five-star wheel. Anybody but Ezekiel is basically what we're going for here, though. Come on. Give me, like, Erica or something, or Koi, or one of the shields. Barker. Eh, I don't know. Neutralize the character. Up to two teammates get focus and 50% attack for two turns. 500% damage to one enemy. Up to three enemies get minus 25 AP. One teammate gains 75% AP. I'm definitely not going to use them, I don't think. I don't know. I'm probably not going to use them. May Actually, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we could fit with my teams. I guess I could pair them up with, like, I had that six-star uh, Eugene, where it's, like, tough and strong teammates get 40 defense and a huge bonus to AP when taking damage. Maybe he'd be useful there. I don't know. I don't have any good tough weapons either. Like, I don't have any impair weapons. I've been trying forever. I haven't gotten any impair weapons. I haven't gotten any, like, really good weapon mod is it mods, weapon upgrades or whatever in so long. Like, I only have, like, two stun guns and one absolute defense weapon, and that's it. Like, it's been it's been forever since I've gotten anything good from the armory. But Barker, I don't know. I saw a lot of people complaining on the forums that everyone, a lot of people were getting Ezekiel, so I guess it could be worse. But a lot of people were complaining they were getting Ezekiel, and, like, the odds weren't as they seem, and, like, you get higher odds of getting Ezekiel than anyone else. Because, like, the, obviously, Scopely knows that everyone has Ezekiel already, unless you weren't playing, unless you're, like, a, a, you're a new player and you haven't gotten him before. But I think, what was the event? It's like when Ascendance first came out, they had an event where like you're basically guaranteed the Ezekiel unless you just weren't playing at all. So I don't know why they would add him into the wheel. Especially when every other tune is like, I guess except for that one tune that's in the five star recruits, but every other tune is like hard, hard to get, I guess you could say. Like you can't get them unless you spend money. But whatever. Hope you guys enjoy. I'd definitely be doing another poll. There's still how many days left? 45 days left. I need 96 more tokens. I'm getting at least, from the leaderboard thing, I'm getting at least another 30 tokens for sure. Because I, I usually, I ranked last time I ranked, I got the 30 token reward. That's why I'm able to do a pull. So I should get at least 30 more tokens unless I get more cakes than last time, which I doubt. But I should get at least 30 more tokens and then there's going to be at least, what, two, two or three more wars maybe? Unless they do more Blitz Wars, which they did like two Blitz Wars back to back where you got tokens for rewards, which was nice. But, you know, probably like four more Wars, I'd say, in the next 40 days, 45 days. And then a bunch more candles and stuff. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys got. Peace.